like they did it in the 90s. I'm going to be starting a new, like, series where I'm going to be testing um, different lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, matte lipsticks, like NYX lip creams, and I'm going to test them. I'm going to wear them for a whole day, and I'm, throughout the day I'm going to test them for four different like categories. The four different categories are going to be, is it smudge proof, is it like food and drink proof, um, is it waterproof, and how long will it last throughout the whole day without having to reapply it. So the lipstick that I'm going to be testing today is this MAC lipstick, and this is in a limited edition packaging, I think, I don't know if you can still get this colour anymore, but this is in the colour Haughty, and this is like really pretty quite a dark like browny sort of nude colour. So the formula of this lipstick is um, frost and so I've gone off the MAC website and it says that the formula is a lipstick formula with smooth medium buildable coverage, high pearl and semi lustrous finish and they don't sell this colour anymore but the closest shade I've come to it is the colour O I think it's quite similar to that. But I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back just before I'm about to do my lips. the rest of my makeup I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips but I don't have a brown lip liner so I'm just gonna use a MAC eyebrow pencil it's quite the colors the closest thing I have so I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips off camera Before I line my lips I it look really weird without any lipstick on I use this um, lush chocolate lip scrub just to hopefully it'll make it stay on longer and hopefully the lip liner sort of will make it stay long. I'm going to fill in basically the rest of my lips using the lipstick and I'm not going to use it with a brush I'm just going to put it straight on. So I've like done the rest of the lipstick and it's actually very dark. It's darker than I remember it being. I haven't worn this before but I'm going to try and make it a little bit lighter with some powder over the top. I don't know if that's going to work though and then I'm just going to I got a little bit of hopefully this will also like like sort of matte and if that's not a word make it more matte and like stay on a bit longer so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of my powder over the top I'll put a tissue there and then do it so basically Neve, my friend has arrived you know her Hi. <laughs> and so I'm going to try and do the smudge proof test now but I put a little bit of powder over it but it hasn't really made it lighter but so hopefully it won't smudge this. How would you just perform a smudge test? Mm. And then just eat loads of food. Just go like this. And then like drink some water, eat loads of food, kiss someone. Okay, I'm not going to do the kiss test, but we're going ped loads, so that's water testing. Oh yeah. Yeah, see. So I'm just going to tissue smudge it. So just what do I do? Just try and wipe Just it go off. like that I just... with the tissue. Mm -hmm. So, oh. a lot's come off already. That is how much has come off. But it's not too bad, because it's not a matte... Lipstickly, mm -hmm. we've been on the we've been on the bus, and now we're in the DLL, which is very silent and non-moving. Mm -hmm. Helen's being very rude. I'm not. So basically, oh, we're going now. <laughs> the lips is going okay. Hey guys, so so far her lips are staying up really really well. She's really happy with it, and she's about to do the drink test. Okay, so we're in a cafe right now. It's sort of like come off like here. But, but so we just ordered drinks. So we're in the cafe, just ordered drinks, just gonna do a drink test. She's got the Oreo milkshake, she's going to see if her lipstick comes off, mine's gonna come off. Hopefully it'll have a straw so it won't be too bad. Oh, yeah, because it's not straw. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be a it's still on after she's had her Oreo milkshake. Stop that smoothie! <laughs> An Oreo smoothie! Oreo milkshake! <laughs> the smoothie's right there. It's gone on, it's gone, gone off. Uh, taken off a bit like we're in the park right now and we're about to have our lunch so I'm gonna I'm test already. the food do the food test and I'll get Very back yummy. to you once I've eaten it it's also sweat resistant <laughs> because we've just been doing we some do dancing flash rob and people are looking at us really park. weirdly but I think it's okay it's sweat come resistant. off a little bit actually we did a flash mob and everyone's staring at us yeah it's really scary. it's still on but we're about to go onto the pedaline so yeah. she'll see if it's water because she's going to jump in the water don't really and start know if it swimming counts, but i'm going to see if you know, this how wet are you going to get on a pedaline i'm not but this is going to see if it's waterproof 
Yeah, but if your lips aren't getting wet, it doesn't matter. Back and be like, now I can see like, that it's like gone, gone off like a lot. Like, my lip gloss came off like my lips two hours ago. Area like inside. So you've got these like pancake things. And you've got white chocolate and nuts. nuts. And nuts. so I'm going to see if it stays on after this, which is going to be quite hard. So I'll come back once I've tried these. Mm. So as you can see now, my lipstick has completely come off. It's all gone apart from like a little bit around here. So I'm just going to take it off now. But so this lipstick is not smudge proof. Um, it is like food and drink proof I don't think it's waterproof and what's the last one? Bottom. and it doesn't last <laughs> <laughs>